welcome back to the bench and this is going to be episode four of the hundred dollar chainsaw shootout uh, i'd like to start by comparing the bars and chains and uh, accessories that come with the saws just to see get an idea if they are in fact identical or not you can see here we have the pink way and here we have the weimars covers they look suspiciously similar same really lightweight cheap other than this is for an 18 and this is for a 20. Now if you look for one that came with the isbo isbo similar but definitely a different mold for this one so let's take a look at the chains if you look at this it has no markings other than direction arrow on the cutters and this one here is the same way it's just got a direction arrow on the cutters so I'm going to say that the Remars in the pink way use the same chain probably come from the same factory you can see this is just a little bit different this one does have some markings on it and then if you look at the bars Again, same style. Matter of fact, probably lay them right on top of each other and they'll line right up. And they do. Probably all made the same factory, just with a little different paint job. Now let's look at the clutch covers. This is the Weimars, which if you watch the video, this pin kept pushing out. Well, I found where the washer and the little rubber grommet go that fell out when I took this off. That's it's missing a snap ring down in here, so that's why they were falling off. But if you look, compare these two look quite similar this one's just a matte finish and this is a little more glossy different plastic used probably the same mold look on the inside and this one's got a washer here this one doesn't a little different different mold for that plastic in there but, I mean basically design wise they're pretty much the same this one has the screw in the face. This one has the option for it, but it's out here at the end. And then if you compare the Remars to the Pink Way, a little bit different. They're definitely different castings for these. You can see. So they are different on the clutch covers. Now, if we look at the saws themselves, you can see that you know, the handles are pretty much identical. Same wrap on them. You know, top covers are clearly different. And we turn them on the sides, and you can see pretty much identical. Same clutches, other than this one sounds a lot worse than the other two. You, know, you look at here and you know, this is a little bit different between the three these are chain catchers the same you know this one here looks like maybe it's a little different material maybe it's a different paint but you look down through here you know these two have the same hole going down through the casting here where this one's a little bit different on here you know this one's got this little dimple in it so there there's some subtle differences they're definitely not out of the same factory and you look at here and these are definitely different molds between these three now this one here 
And this one here look like they may, oh, they come out of a different mold too. This one's got some different holes in it. So they're, they're definitely not identical. I assume that, you know, maybe just a different color or something like that, but they are, they most definitely are not. And what really made me think they'd be identical, looking at the pictures, but the starter covers, they all three have the, the soft start or elasto start or easy start or whatever you want to call it. But there are definitely some subtle differences. Like these two have the rubber in here. These this one does not. You know, you look at how similar these are, but you know, this one's got the throttle lock. This, these two, this one has looks like it may have, has a hole for it or something in there. You know, this one's got the windows into the tank. This one has a window into the tank. This one has nothing. So they're they're clearly not identical. Uh, I'll be curious. I'm gonna run them before I start tearing them all the way apart, checking pistons and stuff. I just want to see. Power-wise, how they compare, you know, these two have the same style switch where this one's got a rocker rather than the toggle. You know, little things like even the, you know, these two, these are similar design. This one's got a totally different safety design, throttle release design. Triggers are probably the same. But they're they're clearly not the same saw. I'd be curious. I wanted to buy one of the coach here to see how they can have that compared with these. Uh, but unfortunately, by the time I went to actually purchase them, they added a sixty dollar shipping charge. Well, that's brings it way past the hundred dollar price point of this shootout. So. Hopefully in the not too distant future they'll have those back for standard free shipping. But I guess that'll do it for now. Uh, next video, hopefully I can get out in the woods. I'll run uh, this tank of you know, roughly 25 to 1. It's just 40 to 1 with a little extra oil added to it. So I'll clean these, finish these three tanks off in these. Uh, put straight 40 to 1, get them all tuned up again. I'll check the RPMs. I do have a tachometer I can throw on there just to see what the max RPM is on these and uh, put them in some wood and we'll kind of compare stock as they came off the factory. I won't touch the chains or anything, just put the bars and chains back on and run them in the wood, see what they do, and then I'll hopefully have time to put a file to the chains, clean them up, uh, sharpen them and then see how they compare to uh, I've got a Rancher 50 and a Husqvarna 460 this these theoretically these should compare to the, the 460 which is a the same 60 cc class so I suspect these are probably not even close to the 62 cc's they claim to be uh, probably 52 if that or 45 uh, we'll see when we get them in the wood and what they do and then uh, after that maybe I'll tear them all apart I'll measure the pistons and cylinders and maybe do a side-by-side -side comparison of the internals as well but before I end up destroying things that way I'd like to see how they run stock but anyways I guess that's enough rambling for now hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, thanks for watching so here's a picture of the pinkway chain after the first tank of fuel. You can see it's stretched pretty far. And here's a picture of the Yizbao chain after the first tank of fuel as well. That one stretched just about as much. I would have got a picture of the Weimar's chain showing that stretch, but it popped off the bar before I uh, finished the tank of fuel, so I didn't get a chance to take a picture of it.